Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and today we will discuss about the differences between Gauss Jacobi and Gauss Seidel methods. So both are really confusing sometimes and to actually get a good differentiation between them, I will explain it with really 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 simple methods. So first of all, let's consider Gauss Jacobi. So what Jacobi means, so first of all we have here three equations. Suppose we have three equations, three equations and three variables. And we need to solve the uh, three equations to get three variables using these two methods. What we do here is let's consider the equations. Let's take a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to let's say d1. First equation, then a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2, the second equation and the third equation so three equations and three variables variables are x y z okay and there are three equations so we can solve it okay so we have this kind of a system of equations and we need to solve to find this x y and z in both these methods we take a particular starting approximation let's say the approximation be that the first starting point like the starting input to this x y z let's let them be x 0 y 0 and z 0 so what does this 0 means this 0 means that the iteration iteration it's the iteration so this 0 is the iteration number okay what it signifies is that this is the first that the zero most okay for it is zero before even the one bef the we haven't done any iterations yet it's when the iteration is zero so the initial values when we iterate it then it will become x1 okay after the first iteration okay so next we write these equations we write these equations as to get x from here from the first y from the second and z from the third let's write it so x from the first moving these two over there moving these two over there c1z let me rub this part c1z and first move these quantities over there and divided by a1 and divided by a1 to get x similarly for y similarly for y from the second equation okay x y z this this kind of a diagonal you want first from the y we have d2 minus a2x minus c2z c2z divided by b2 and for z and for z from this equation d3 minus b3y or let's say a3x minus b3y and divided by divided by the number what's it is c3 okay then what we do here now this is the common step for both the methods after this after this let me rub the upper part okay after this let's consider these methods individually first gauss jacobi here jacobi means to copy jacobi what I mean here is that just copy the iteration number everywhere. So to get x1, to get x1, we need to put the initial values here of y and z. So put these values. And what you need to do is this is the first iteration iteration, and these are the zeroth iteration. What you need is to just copy. For j copy, just copy. So copy these zeros over here also. Copy these zeros. Similarly, so this will be one, this will be one. If we want two, if we want two, the second iteration, iteration for the second iteration, just put this one, okay? And just copy this, copy these everywhere, one, 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 one. That's Gauss Jacobi method. We need to do it till then we actually get a converged value of this x, y, z. Converged value means up to some decimal points, it is going to be same, okay? This was the Gauss Jacobi method a little lengthy method because first you have to take x1 
the next two, the next three, and it it is time consuming because after getting after putting this and getting x2, we are not using x2 here. We are using x1 only here. Just copying it. Okay. Let's see what happens in Gauss Seidel method. Okay. So in Gauss Seidel method, let me rub this part and and let me rub all of it. Okay. And this also. So in Gauss Seidel method, one way to remember is because of this s. So because Seidel is s, s means successive. What I mean from successive is so Jacobi is copy, and s Seidel successive. Successive means once you get x one, use it, use it afterwards to get y one, and use it to get z one. Let me tell you what it is. It is so. Here are, are the equations, and what we do here is to get after we used for getting one. Okay, we get did the first iteration, and for first iteration we have the initial values only. Initial values like the x zero, y zero, and z zero. These are the starting estimates. So initial estimates like these could be zero comma zero comma zero in most of the cases, but sometimes it could be one 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 two anything that. You want to start off with, okay? Let me rub this, and we use the initial values of y and z to get this x one. Now, instead of using the x zero here, okay, because Jacobi says we need to copy, but Gauss Seidel says if you get this, then use this. Why to use x zero? You get a new value for x. Put this here, okay? Put this here. So put it here, x one. But we don't have a value, new value of z. So we will use zero only. This will give me y one. Again, we get a new value of y one. So put it, put it here. Why to use the old values when we have the new values? Okay, and x one also here. Okay, because we have the new values. Then this will be z one. Again for the second one. Okay, again when it will become the second iteration, we will use initially the first values. After that, the second value we will use it over here, and this will be the first value. For the second value of y two, now this two this number represents iteration number. Let me write it. Uh, iteration means how many times? Okay, this is actually iteration number means what is the value of x after we have done this whole operation once or twice or whatever the number over here in the indexes. Okay, and here we use two. So we use whatever value we get in Gauss Seidel. Whatever value we obtain, we use it in the same process, in the same iteration itself. Whereas, whereas in Gauss Jacobi, we used to just copy zero 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 one 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 one. So that's the main difference, and I hope you will be able to do and solve a lot of questions related to it. Hope you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.